for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff the Mad Cheese, as always. Got a title update video for you guys. As I was saying last week, we were expecting a pretty hefty title update to come out this Thursday. And this is what we got. This is not as big of a title update as I was expecting, but it definitely addressed every single game mode. Uh, specifically, uh, there's a lot to mention about gameplay changes or more like tuning. As It, it doesn't necessarily say that it, it changed gameplay, but it definitely reduced a lot of things that people have been waiting for uh, throughout pretty much the entire year. So whether you play Ultimate Team, Franchise Mode, regular uh, gameplay, whatever, you're going to notice there's going to be some pretty big changes as far as what you guys can do. These are some of the most requested changes uh, that EA is making. But before I get into the video, as always, if you guys like the content, please make sure to be a Woo! subscriber. Hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. If you want to see me do more of these videos, please hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. As I try to do them every single week, whether it's just a simple roster update, player ratings change, or a title update like this one is and if you guys want me to continue that like i said show some support for that other than that let's go and get right into the two biggest changes like i said there's two things that people have been asking for when it comes to uh gameplay changes specifically number one one of the biggest issues has been aggressive catching the aggressive catching meta especially if you play madden ultimate team which luckily i don't play very much this year so i'm pretty happy to, to avoid all that but basically you could just rocket catch all game with any tall receiver and you were you were good you know what I mean? that's pretty much how a lot of people play which brings me to one of my biggest uh, notes from the title update patch notes and that is tuning to reduce catch chance for non-ability receivers attempting aggressive catches in traffic dev note this tuning is meant to decrease the frequency of successful aggressive catches in traffic when using receivers without aggressive catch abilities so that makes it sound like to me it, it says specifically if it has an aggressive catch ability it'll probably still be happening but at the end of the day you can't just do it with any and any receiver which is something that a lot of people are doing they're pretty much just throwing it up and mossing everybody all day because aggressive catching is so overpowered this year so i'm sure a lot of people are going to be happy with that change we'll have to see over time how uh, dramatically different it is but if that's true because sometimes they put out stuff that doesn't necessarily you don't necessarily see a difference if you see a difference that's going to dramatically change how a lot of people play this game especially in ultimate team because i think it's more rampant in ultimate team than other game modes but that's definitely huge and there's definitely i mean it'll still be happening a lot because aggressive catch abilities will just become the meta. I don't really, you know, in regular game modes, I can't even think what receivers have aggressive catch abilities, but I'm sure in Mutt, you can just put it on whoever you want. So you're still going to see that quite a bit, but it's going to be reduced and you're going to know exactly where the ball is going to be going. If, if you're playing against somebody that has one guy that has an aggressive catch ability, you just got to know to watch that one guy or maybe use that one guy, double team that one guy, bracket that one guy and it'll be a lot easier rather than just every you know receiver being six foot five and coming down with every ball so that's definitely something like i said a lot of people def definitely wanted to see that the next one one of the biggest issues and this doesn't say it's necessarily because of this but the man zero blitz meta which has pretty much been uh the meta for defenses all year changed over you know what formation over you know what play uh you know but it's always been man zero blitz it's been the same thing since the game came out the reason that man zero blitz works so well is because of the way the game is designed this year it's designed to keep the quarterback in the pocket you can't leave the pocket without getting a disengage off of the edge um, you know there's so many things that are keeping you in the pocket as a quarterback that it just makes sense to send the house since you can't really do anything about it so they did at least tune something to try to decrease the effectiveness of man zero blitz or just blitzing in general and that is tuning to the angles and distance at which oncoming defenders will be detected applying pressure on qb during the throw another dev note here says the tuning done to pressure detection is with the intent of decreasing the likelihood of getting under pressure inaccurate passes when attempting to throw the ball quickly versus the blitz so they like i said they didn't say man zero blitz is what this is about but it's what it's what it's about so basically now you're gonna be able to get the ball out at least without getting a bunch of under pressure throws i mean the pressure is still gonna be coming in hot that's just the way that the game is designed you're still gonna have a lot of pressure when it comes to man's or blitz but at least you're gonna be getting the ball out without it with actually accuracy it won't be affected every throw and you know it, it, like i like how they say the angle which makes me think that they're talking about outside blitzers you're probably gonna have to get pressure right the, up the center so if you're running a lot of outside blitzes which is what you know most of these blitzes are um, you're probably not going to see the effectiveness when it comes to at least uh, inaccurate throws that they call 
cause based off of the pressure from the blitzes. So that is something that helps to reduce man's zero blitz. I mean, I have no problem, honestly, in my gameplays. You see it all the time, and I get comments about it all the time. I have no issues at all sidestepping pressure and delivering quick passes and stuff like that. I just really don't have any issue with it. So this will definitely help, but I know a lot of people are having issues with that. So this will definitely help with that. Uh, those are probably the two biggest gameplay changes. After that, there's a lot of like weird ones, like the Demar Hamlin CPR one. That was a big thing that they're uh, you know made a lot of headlines that they're reducing some touchdown celebration or some celebration that I gotta be honest doesn't even you know I don't even remember seeing. So I don't know how prevalent that was, but that is a celebration that they were moving. Uh, there was also uh, a, they fixed an issue where people were celebrating with the touch, uh, touchdown celebration when they had the ball in the wrong hand. These are all really small things uh, to me when it comes to um, you know gameplay. Uh, fix an issue causing a defensive pre-play fidget animation to move the defender to the neutral zone causing an offside penalty. Like I said, all small stuff. The two biggest ones I already mentioned. Uh, there are a couple of other ones that do happen with some frequency that I can go over. Tuning to reduce catch chances for defenders attempting to catch a throw out a sack pass from behind the line of scrimmage. I've gotten a lot of big plays, touchdowns, uh, when, you know, you get a sack, the, or, or essentially with the sack, the ball comes loose on a throw out of sack, and then one of the other blitzing defenders just catches it and goes to the house. So they reduce the chances of that happening, uh, which sucks because they, that's a huge play, but it is kind of, you know, that doesn't really happen a lot, I wouldn't say, in the NFL. Can't say that it won't still happen from time to time. I know the other gameplay I had with Fletcher Cox, caught in an interception who you know defensive tackles should be catching interceptions at all really and he took it to the house so it was a little bit extra but at the end of the day um you know it does still happen from time to time in uh, in the nfl so hopefully it's not like completely removed but it's definitely gonna happen less frequently so i'll probably have less of those in my gameplay which sucks because they're they're big plays that usually uh, make the first 30 seconds of my videos fixed an issue that was heavily penalizing defenders when attempting to catch tipped uh passes in traffic now this is something that they actually reduced not too long ago in a previous update where apparently this was happening too much. So now uh, it seems like they, they reduced that and now it seems like they might have put that back up. They have a dev note here as well that says defenders catch chance is globally reduced when considered to be in traffic to reflect the difficulties of securing catch alongside other players. This change will reduce the amount of penalty applied when the ball has already been tipped or knocked up in the air to give defenders a better chance of intercepting tipped balls. So one of the biggest issues in previous patches with a lot of people were saying they were throwing a lot of interceptions. I know in years past, it was like guaranteed. Like if you threw the ball in the wrong spot, it would immediately get tipped up in the air to another defender get intercepted. And it happened all the time. I'm hoping we don't go back to that because it kind of sounds like it could be that. That was mad annoying. Uh, but essentially, you know, it, it seems like they're still trying to figure out a happy balance because I know this year, like, tipped interceptions are rare. Like, you rarely get them. But let's not go back to when every time you throw a pass into tra a little bit of traffic, it would be like they would serve it up in a volleyball game to the next guy to basically intercept it. And that was just lame, too, because it seems so obvious what was going on. Like, the second you made a bad pass, they would just do some whack animation where it would forcefully throw it to another player in the area that would catch it. Uh, so, you know, let's, let's hope it doesn't go back to that. But at the end of the day, um, I guess interceptions, to me, I, I don't really throw a ton of unearned interceptions. But I know a lot of people have been complaining about that over the year. Hopefully this doesn't take us back down that path. And that's pretty much it for the gameplay updates, which really just feels like uh, a lot of tuning, which, you know, isn't really, I mean, no changes in coverage, no changes in, um, you know, it's just just, decre just increasing, decreasing uh, things. And that's really it. So not a huge update in gameplay, but it will change how people play the game. It doesn't even specifically mention any changes to specific plays, which is something that most title updates have in the past. Now... There are some MUD updates. The biggest one is them basically just pushing the new promo. Season 3 is here. Get a Rob Gronkowski. I'm sure you got all this information if you watch a MUD channel, so I'm not going to repeat it. When it comes to franchise mode, now this one here, you guys are going to have to help me out in the comment section because um, it says here that they're still continuing to work on the cloud or on the franchise cloud save issue from 1228 alongside with this title update. Further, anal a further analysis has determined that this, is a, uh, this issue affected around only 2% of all leagues created since launch. Now, that's being kind because, I mean, if you, if you look at it like people are constantly restarting their leagues, there may have been, um, you know, there may be, let's say there's a thousand leagues, but you're constantly starting them over. So maybe it waters down that percentage to around 2%. But the last estimate was that they could only save like 40% of leagues. So that's why I'm asking you guys in the comment section, let me know what's going on with your current league. Is that sound right? 
is only about 2% of leagues affected because it sounds like they're seriously uh, trying to minimize the, uh, the effect or the sound of how bad it sounds because from my understanding, it sounds like most leagues were affected. Uh, but let me know in the comment section because I really don't know. But even here, it still says recommendations is for players to start a new league as not all leagues will be recovered, which is the same thing that they said back on 1228. Now they also have a play now live update. This says our franchise team has added an additional starting point of week 17 for players starting new franchises via play now live option. This update will go live via a server side, blah, blah, blah. Um, there is a, there is also a previously scheduled, uh, wildcard update coming next week. So I don't know if there'll be a whole nother title update next week. That doesn't really sound like the case, but, um, but yeah, if you're starting a new league from the sounds of this, you can start it from either week 17 or wildcard, which doesn't really make a lot of sense. If people are trying to skip over the first year, get to the second year, it took us to kind of, you know, get past the, uh, the season we just played. They can just sim straight through to the next season. I don't really, you know, sim to off season is, is typically an option if I remember correctly. So I don't understand what they're trying to get at there. Uh, other than that, there's some new NFL authenticity updates. A couple of new faces. Jaquan Brisker for the Bears. Tyquan Thornton for the Patriots. Sky Moore. These are like some second round, third round rookies. Sky Moore, Desmond Ritter, James Cook, uh, and Brian Asamoah from the Vikings. These are all, you know, okay, cool. You know what I mean? Interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. If you guys want to see more videos like this, as always, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. Other than that, I'll have some uh, some recent content popping up on screen. So if you guys want to check that out, I'm sure it'll help out your game. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.